welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how you can merge two different data set using this r studio function and we will be using dp layer package for merging two different data sets so let me show you uh, my examples which i want to merge so as here you can see i have two data set and just for simplicity i have renamed them as file one and file two and you see their format is actually CSV. So even you can also upload your file in the form of Excel as well. But uh, let me show you what actually the one has. So as here you see the first column has actually the gene IDs. And as here you see here we have actually the different uh, samples. So we have up to V so I mean you see the here the sample IDs are named uh, up to V so uh, and in the second file you see here we have samples starting from only till Q so we actually want to merge sometime you know these genes are randomly organized so this function can automatically find and will automatically place all those these column next to those relevant genes using this function so uh, what we need to do we need to simply write this and run this code and but before that we need to make sure that we have activated three main packages uh, which maybe we will be using for this as in the previous video we have already learned how we can install packages so if these packages are not previously installed so you can go for installing so number one is actually the read r package so you see here it is already installed so if we if it is not already installed so you can click on this one but for me it is already installed so i will simply click on this one so you see when i will click on this so it is activated so the next package I want to uh, read Excel. So you see here these, if you want to read CSV file, so we will be using read R. And if you want to read Excel file, so we will be using this read Excel package. And the next package for merging is actually the DP layer. So you see here we have just activated all these three packages so now we will be performing uh, our merging function so but before that we need to import our these two data sets i mean number one and number two so what we can we can simply go to this import data set and as we know our data sets are in the form of csv so we will go from read r function and from here maybe we we can browse where we have just placed those files so for my example you see here i have number one i mean i will just double click on this so i will click on this import so you see here the first column is actually the gene and here is all the treatments and i will simply click on import so you see here this x uh, one is automatically x1 name is automatically assigned and this one is actually file is added and as you see here this file has actually 22 variable and 32,544 genes so now we can go and uh, upload the second file we can go again to browse function and we can go to this our folder so in this way we now we want to just uh, import the second file so you see here the second file has also the first column the gene so we also want to import this one so you see here now we have actually imported two data files so now we want to merge so you see here we have the same number of genes even your file can also have i mean unequal number of genes it doesn't matter and uh, you see this one has 39 variable and this one has 22 variables so what you are going to do uh, you are going to this write this function so i will paste this uh, code directly in the video description you can just copy paste 
and uh, you can simply run this uh, by selecting this as you know whatever we want to uh, whatever we want to run we will simply uh, remove this hash and we will select let's suppose we, if we want to select first one so uh, we will just simply click on the run so it will automatically merge but let me uh, write this uh, code again so that you can understand so as you know uh, we have already activated read r read excel and dp layer function so uh, we will use this function merge data so i will double click on this so i will put a space and then this less than arrow then minus sign and we want to use full join although there are two function i mean the left join function and the right join function but we this time want the full join function i mean we want full join yeah you see here and uh, we want this x1 and x2 i mean we want to join these two files so i will write x1 and we want x2 comma and we want to join by which column so as here you see in the x1 the first column is actually the gene and the second column and in the x2 is also gene so this this name you need to write the same so actually i want to uh, merge them according to the first column and we know that its name is gene so we need to write gene so that's it so let's now run this code and it will you see here so it has automatically generated a merge data file so you see here there are the same observation now it has the 60 variables so i will double click on this so you see here uh, now this file is created with the 60 variable so as you see here uh, here are also few files which are actually the empty but no problem i mean uh, those values which actually has not so it has just written and a function so it is just showing only for 12 so now what we want we want to export this file to any place on in our computer so i will be using my second code that is uh, write csv i mean we want to write write csv and what we want to write you see here we are we actually want to copy this file merge uh, data yeah we want to merge use merge data function and where we want let's suppose for this is example we want to uh, copy this file to our e folder and uh, we e folder and we want to name this as example dot csv and we can just simply close the bracket and you see here so if you don't want to write the code you can just simply find the code in the video description just copy paste first select the first one and run but i have to just for simplicity purpose i have explained the code and now we want to write this code so i will simply run this code so you see here it is blue it means it has successfully written the our file so let me now take you to my e folder so that we can check if the file has been written so this is e folder so you see here the example csv file has been generated uh, let me uh, give you a quick look of this so you see here we have all the uh, data has been integrated so here are some empty so if you want to delete them so you can also delete but if you want to to consider them because uh, you can also so you can simply uh, delete all the rows so you see here now we have combined cells I mean with along our variables so in this way you can use this uh, function to merge two gene data set using this tp layer function so if you have still any question please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye